Live breaking news, Nez Nation, Kamala Harris, the cackler. <laughs> she has just adorned a brand new fake accent. I'm going to share that with you in just a second. Also, Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris backfires big time. And then I'm going to share with you a video. Oh, you're going to love this. It's going to be so good, my fellow Americans, Nez Nation. Something that's going to give you hope. Something that's going to give you such um, relief for the future of our kids in America. Oh, you gotta, you have to stick around for this video. It's going to give you so much hope for the future, our youth, the future generations. An influencer and voter, a young voter, absolutely decimates mainstream media and breaks down in such a mellifluous, intelligent, articulate way. You got to see this. It's absolutely phenomenal. First, this is really, really huge. Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris may turn away more voters than it attracts. A new post-debate poll from YouGov released Saturday found out that 8% of voters said the pop superstar's nod is either, quote, somewhat or, quote, much more likely to convince them to cast their ballot for Democrats. But a whopping 20% said they're, quote, somewhat or, quote, much less likely to vote for former President Donald Trump's opponent now that Swift has spoken. Most of the respondents, 66%, said Swift's endorsement didn't make a difference at all. I've done my research and I've made my choice, she said on her Instagram post of 283 million followers shortly after Tuesday night's debate. Your research is all yours to do, and the choice is yours to make, end quote. She actually had the audacity to call Harris a, quote, steady-handed, gifted leader who could lead with, quote, calm and not chaos. Remember, I talked about this in another video. When you're a billionaire and you've got private security, private walls, you've got private jets, and you haven't been in a grocery store in God knows how long, of course you're going to want four more years of this crap. She doesn't care about anything. She doesn't have to worry about crime. She doesn't have to worry about illegals crossing over the border. She doesn't have to worry about paying rent, paying her mortgage. She's a billionaire. I also love, go check out Megyn Kelly's video where she just absolutely torches and gives it to her like no other. Megyn Kelly has an amazing rant on Taylor Swift, but I think most of you guys already know this. The majority, though, 32% of the online polls respondents think the move will have a positive effect while 27% say they don't think it'll have an effect either way. 41%, nearly 460 people, said the Shake It Off singer shouldn't speak publicly about politics, while 38% said she should not make public endorsements. It's also reported that Swift has lost an estimated $150 million in merchandise and memorabilia since endorsing Kamala Harris. It seems pretty clear to me. I'd love to get your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments down below. People are not stupid. People don't fall for these celebrity endorsements, especially celebrities who are so out of touch with reality and have no clue what they're talking about. She's just nothing but a child, a billionaire spoiled brat child that knows absolutely nothing about real world affairs. I don't understand anybody who could take a celebrity's endorsement seriously. It would be nice to maybe go back to a time in America where people just did what they did, right? You either played a, a, a an instrument or you played, you know, you played basketball or you, you know, you sang or whatever. Just do, you acted, just do your thing. Stay in your lane. Why are you getting involved in this when you have nothing to say, you have nothing to add, and nobody, nobody takes you seriously because you're so far removed from reality. Now check out this capital PH phony cackling Kamala, and you're going to see her cackle too. You know, you could almost tell in that interview I did earlier in the live stream and also during the debate, she was trying to muster up every fiber of strength to not, she wanted to cackle more than once. Well, she's right now at the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation 2024 Phoenix Awards Dinner in Washington, D.C. And listen to her. Yep, she's been Indian. She's been black. She's been Jamaican. She's been Cajun, Foghorn Longhorn. Now she's adorning another fake accent. Listen to this. Let me just say about Joe Biden. Um, I have... <laughs> Oh, so Hello disgusting. to all my de 
my nine brothers and sisters <laughs> and my soror. <laughs> And to all my HBCU brothers and sisters. <laughs> what accent is that? And let me just give a big shout out to all my brothers and sisters. I'm going to start talking like this so you guys can see that I'm really, truly black, but nobody's really falling for it. Oh my God, you're running for the highest office in the land and you act like an absolute fool. Who is this fooling? I mean, what are your thoughts on that? This has got to be like the seventh or eighth fake accent she's adorned in the last 20, 30 days, maybe even just less than that, two weeks. She's literally gone through. There's a reason why they call her Chameleana. It's an insult. It's a huge disrespect and a huge insult that you have faked a dozen or so accents and you expect people to be endeared by that? You expect people to buy that? You expect people to relate to that? And define that as authentic? I mean, am I nuts? Somebody let me know in the comments. If I'm nuts, I'm more than happy to agree with you. Just tell me why I'm nuts. And then now this just gives me so much hope. This is Shaney Rich. It's just so impressive to see young people who can see through all the BS. Listen to what he says is the biggest threat to America. And this is beautiful. Share this Share this with everybody you know. Tap the thumbs up so we can reach as many people as possible. Watch this. This is brilliant. What's the biggest threat to America? The media. Why? The media is the enemy of the people. Take a look at the Trump versus Biden debate, that first debate that ever happened. Before that debate, the media was all in with Biden, was promoting him, was saying that it was a right-wing conspiracy if you say that Biden is senile, Biden has dementia, Biden has lost his step, and Biden is not in control. Then the debate happens, and the largest audience ever of American people, but also the world, had now seen on that stage that Biden cannot complete a sentence. Keep in mind, they've known this the whole time. This guy has been cooked since 2020. And then immediately the media changes tune, saying Biden's senile, Biden's this, Biden's that. The media switches and changes up, and then they usher in Kamala. They literally attempted a coup on Biden, and they were successful. No one voted for Kamala to be the Democratic nominee. For the party that says that Trump is this huge threat to democracy, that was one of the most anti-democratic things that I have ever seen. And so now the media is fully on board with Kamala. They're saying that she's ahead in the polls. How do they conduct the polls? I've never been called by CNN. Have you? No. I've never been called by Washington Post. I've never been polled. The media is what causes divide, it causes racial divide, it causes family divide, it causes political divide, it causes fear, uncertainty, it makes people feel like the world's ending when if you just come outside and touch grass, life's pretty good. So I think the media is the enemy of the people, the media is the biggest threat to the American public and to the world. They're just complete liars and cappers and frauds and scammers. Bravo, young man. Rumble, young man, rumble. I absolutely love that. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. I'm just so, so thoroughly impressed by that young man right there. He just called it, nailed it, every single point. I've said this so many times in this nation, my fellow Americans, propaganda is the most powerful tool out there. So every single time that I've tried to question somebody, why are you voting for Kamala Harris? Why are you voting for four more years of skyrocketing crime, skyrocketing interest rates, skyrocketing inflation, forever wars leading to World War III, skyrocketing illegal border crossings, and on and on and on, skyrocketing gas prices, skyrocketing energy prices, skyrocketing food consumer prices. I mean, on and on and on. The only thing they can tell me is she's not Trump because she literally hasn't done one thing. She hasn't achieved one thing. She had one task as vice president and she blew it. She was the border czar. She was in charge of the border. We have the worst border crisis in the history of our country. She blew it. She's not Trump. Well, she's not Trump. And who has created that impression? Who has molded that and crafted that with propagandist precision? the same media that this young man is talking about. Bravo, young man. I love that. And so I wanted to leave you on just a high note there. I can't wait to get your comments on this. You guys know what I feel about polls, but the polls are suggesting that after the debate, post that solo interview disaster that we talked about in an earlier video, I'll share that at the end screen. The numbers are showing that we're winning. We're winning, but let's not be complacent. In the words of the Mamba, Kobe Bryant, job not finished. We need to work 100 
X harder. You know your boy Nez is, and I hope you will too. That means grabbing everybody you know, grabbing your cousin, your neighbor, your sister, your dog, your grandfather, and forcing them and getting in a bus, rent a bus and go down to the voting booth to the ballot box. It's never been more consequential ever in the history of our lives. I throw this off to you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I can't wait to read your comments down below. Please let me know. As always, if you made it this far, sign up for our free newsletter. That's in the um, description, pin comment, and show notes down below. Check out these videos coming up on the screen. This is the one that we just did today, talking about that interview that was a bomb, that solo interview. Subscribe and follow over there. And as always, may God bless you. And may God bless America. I'll see you soon.